What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I got a really interesting topic that I want to talk with you guys about. Now there's a little bit of backstory that goes into this because at first this didn't even start out as a video that I was going to do. I actually ran across this topic on a website called Reddit. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Reddit, this is a place where people go, they ask questions, they post videos and pictures and all sorts of things. And it was here on this website where I ran across somebody who had posted asking all of the ex-cons of Reddit what the hardest prison habit was for them to break. Now, first and foremost, I had no idea there was such a thing as the ex-cons of Reddit, but obviously there is because there's like 12,000 plus responses to this original question. Now, again, like I had first mentioned, this wasn't even a video I was gonna do. In fact, I just wanted to be able to respond to this post myself, being that I am an ex-con as well. But the sad thing that I gotta admit to you guys is unfortunately I am shadow banned on this website, meaning that I can no longer post nor respond to anything on this website because way back in the day I used to spam the hell out of this website with After Prison Show everything. I'll admit that, I did a lot of spamming on Reddit. And because of that I guess I got like a lifetime ban from using that website. And real quick, if anybody knows how I could possibly become unbanned on Reddit, please let me know my username is JoeArt. Funny. Probably should have made it after prison show though. Probably should have. So with the fact that I can no longer post on Reddit, I can't even respond to this person who asked this question for the ex-cons of Reddit saying, what was the hardest prison habit for you to break? Well, guess what? I'm gonna make me a video about it because believe when I tell you, I personally have some pretty insightful information to add to this conversation. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about three really crazy prison habits that I myself had after I was released they were pretty hard to break. Now before I go getting into these three really crazy prison habits that were hard for me to break after I was released, I want you guys to think about this real quick. You know, for those of you who have served time, know somebody who has served time, or for those of you who have never had anything to do with the judicial system, just thinking about serving time in prison and then getting released, what do you think would be some prison habits that would be pretty hard to break? I really wanna hear what you guys have to say, so please comment down below and let me know. But it's with mentioning all of that that I wanna tell you guys about these three really crazy prison habits that I myself most certainly had a hard time trying to break after I was released. And it's this first one that I'm sure a lot of you who rock with After Prison Show and have seen pretty much all of the videos we've ever done here are gonna definitely understand pretty well. And this first prison habit that I wanna share with you guys is talking like a prisoner. My God, when I came home from prison, I most certainly talked a certain type of a way. I can't even really place it nor even really try to describe this for you guys. All I can tell you is that when you are locked up, when you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are doing time just like you are, for whatever reason, everybody who's locked up begins to sort of talk the same type of way. They cuss compulsively and they talk with like this lingo, this street city-like I can't really explain it, but I definitely want to show you a little evolution slash progression of my prison voice from back then to now. This is me, finally free after seven years. This is for everybody who uh, isn't here to see this right now. I'm walking out of here after seven years to a whole new life and a whole new beginning, and I'm ready for this. And uh, I just want to let everybody know that uh, it's a great feeling overwhelming at the same time and I'm just happy to be here. What's happening everybody? It's Joe and welcome to another episode of the After Prison Show. Got the new camera that you're seeing me through right here. Things are looking brighter by the day. Also got the microphone hooked up to the shirt and we are looking a hell of a lot more professional. This right here is the little something, I don't know, it hooks up to your back, makes the microphone work. Also these things on my face right here, well these are state of the art 100% authentic prison glasses. What's happening everybody? Welcome to another awesome episode of the After Prison Show. I'm Joe. This is where you can come to find all sorts of interesting, entertaining information in relation to prison and life after. So I mean this with every ounce of my being when I say that prior to being released from prison, I had no former knowledge of any kind of smartphone technology. I mean the smartest thing that I knew was this, digital scale. Now this, this was the first Instagram before Instagram was ever thought of. Yeah, the damnedest thing to think about. I mean, this is something that I still struggle with nowadays, even though I think I talk pretty 
articulate. I think I talk pretty well. Hell, I think I could get a damn job being a news anchor chairperson on the evening world news. NBC, ABC, CBS, holla at your boy. Could you imagine old Joe doing the evening news? Good evening. Welcome to the world evening news, or whatever they call it. I'm Joe Guerrero. Actually, I'm doing my Dateline voice right now because that guy, he talks with his neck and his face. I'm Joe Guerrero. Damn, man, you got like a twitch or something. You ever seen that Dateline guy I'm talking about? That guy talks completely out of his neck for real. Good evening. Welcome to Dateline. But again, like I had mentioned, you know, this is something that I still struggle with to this very day. Even though I think I talk a lot more proper now, I've prided myself on trying to leave behind so much of everything that dealt with my previous life, my past life, my past in general, and especially all of the trouble and, you know, me being in prison. I've tried to leave all of that behind. But let me get around some people that I used to serve some time with. I mean, a perfect example of this is just when Dave was released, we did the Dave getting released video. He was getting his haircut and outside I run across a guy that I knew from the jail back when I was starting my seven-year prison sentence serving two years in the jail and I ran across this guy that I did some pluck tattoo work on and I mean I don't even know who I was with the way that I was talking. Can I show this to him right yeah. here man? That's crazy. I did that in the jail right there guys. So. Man, that's crazy, man. And the joint still look good, man. Yeah, you think you plug you plug you play ball. <laughs> Again, that prison lingo, that talking like a prisoner, that is something very real and a habit that I most certainly struggled with trying to break when I was released. The second crazy prison habit that I want to share with you guys is one that is absolutely serious. And this is disrespect. You know, it is the craziest damn thing to think about, but when you are serving time, you better watch where you're going, watch your step, watch who you are bumping into, stepping on the shoes of, stepping on the prison boots of. If you do anything like this, you better immediately be like, dude, my bad, I did not mean to scuff up those nasty prison boots you wearing right there, man. My bad, dude, I apologize sincerely. I'm sorry I didn't even see you standing right there even though you were standing right beside me. I apologize, didn't mean to bump into you. And you know, though that may sound a little timid, that may sound a little weak, that is something that you better do. You better carry yourself with the utmost respect in prison. And if somebody bumps into you while you're locked up, just the same, vice versa, they better do the same thing to you. Hey, why you bumping into me, man? God, you ain't even see I was standing right here. My bad, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't see you standing right there even though you were standing right in front of me. Now, the only time this respect thing might not happen if you get bumped into by like the biggest, baddest prisoner there who does not give a damn about who you are. Hey, why you, oh my God, did not realize it was you, sir. Good Lord, did you grow three feet overnight? My God, you must have been working out. Have you been hitting the iron on the yard? Man, you better get out of my way. What you doing being in my way right now? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, sir. I am so sorry you want me. Oh my God, I am so sorry, sir. If you're wondering if anything like that ever happened while I was locked up, the absolute answer to that is yes. Again, I cannot emphasize to you how big of a deal respect is when you're locked up. Though I might laugh and joke about that little scene right there. Trust and believe when I tell you, you better carry yourself with respect while locked up. And if somebody disrespects you while locked up, that in most cases is time to throw up your d beaters. Huh. Bung, 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 bung. Ah I don't know where that kick came from right there. I, I, I have no idea. Dave's been talking a lot about Taekwondo with his son. Maybe it kind of rubbed off on me. Carrying yourself with respect while serving time is something that you absolutely have to do. It's almost like a means of survival. But then you get released out here into the free world and you could be anywhere. The grocery store, Walmart. Ain't Walmart and the grocery store the same thing? You could be anywhere and people might just bump into you and just keep it moving. Hey man, you just knocked me off my feet. You ain't even gonna say, excuse me, man. Out here in the free world, people play by a completely different set of rules. Ain't nobody thinking about you. Ain't nobody got time for you. If you win they way, good God. Hey, that's the second time you done bought me, man. You gonna be ready to fight somebody. You are absolutely gonna be ready to fight somebody. And that's something you gotta keep in mind. Like, okay, he just bumped me for a third time. Joe, we are not locked up anymore. My God, if we do anything right now, we stand the chance of going right back. We got to just accept the fact that people play by an entirely different set of rules out here in the free world versus being locked up. The third and final prison habit that was personally hard for me to break after I was released 
And this is going to sound absolutely crazy, but you just got to understand where I'm coming from. This prison habit was the actual prison habit. You know, up until the point where I got released this last time after serving seven years prior to this, my entire life had been nothing but a revolving door. Getting locked up, coming home for a short period of time, and then getting locked right back up. I spent most of the time up until the age of 24, 26, however old I was when I went to serve these seven years, I spent most of my time leading up to that. In fact, hell, we can even go to where I am right now. I'm 35 years old. I have spent most of my life since the age of 18 years old locked up. I spent more time in some sort of an institution, jail, or prison than I have in the actual free world. You know, they say that once you become a part of the system, once you get wrapped up in it, it is so hard to break that cycle, to get away from that, to stop getting locked back up. And the biggest reason that I personally feel for this is because for people like me, and I'm sure there's a lot of people just like me, once you start getting in trouble and you start getting locked up and then you get released, you really do wanna do the right thing. You want to get a job and be able to be a successful person in society, but the problem is, is we are too quick to just give up. Man, I'm not trying to work at Little Caesars making seven fifty dollars an hour and they want me to shave all the hair off my face like I'm back in prison. I'm not doing that for nobody. Forget this job. We will oftentimes make too many damn excuses for us to just be able to go back to whatever it is that we know. Whether it's addiction, whether it's selling something, or whether it's just committing crime and just trying to live some sort of fast and easy life, getting what we oftentimes refer to as that easy money. And for some, though I'm sure it's not very many, they're able to make the changes they need to make after that very first time. They get locked up and they're like, I have never gone through this again. This was an absolute nightmare. They locked me up for 48 hours. I have never gone back into that again. I was in the drunk tank with three drunk old guys and they smelled like vomit and urine and dude. I'm never doing that again. Put me in TCC Community College. I'm ready to change my life. But for others and probably most others, it takes them multiple times. Multiple slips, multiple stumbles, multiple mess ups, getting locked up two, three, maybe even more times for me. I've probably been locked up something like 10, maybe even more damn times. Before I was finally ready to say, you know what? Dude, enough is a damn enough. I have got to break this prison habit because I'm not trying to be like one of these old heads in prison. Hell, every time I get locked up now, I'm 35 years old. These young dudes in there referring to me now as old head. But I ain't trying to be like one of these 50 year old, 60 year old dudes who's probably been locked up two times, maybe even three times, as many times as I have. Enough is enough. And I have got to do something different and better to ensure that I ain't never gonna have to experience that again. And I will be damned if I don't do everything within my personal power to ensure that I never do experience that again. And let me just tell you something, that right there, Breaking the prison habit was probably, and still is probably, the hardest damn thing to do. You know, this is something I struggle with on a daily basis. There's days where I just want to say, you know what, forget all this. Forget all of this stress and pressure. It would be so much easier if I just went back to the old me. But you know, on days like that, those are the days where I have to try the hardest. Not every day is like that. Not now, at least. But I can guarantee you in the very beginning when I first got released this time after so many times, but after serving these seven years, almost every single day, I had to struggle with doing the right thing, not going back to the easy money. Because it was literally the hardest fight of my damn life trying to make the changes I needed to make then so that I can now be where I am now. Crazy stuff to think about. But you know what? If you don't give up, and you try your damnedest every single day, no matter what situation you're in, things will eventually get better. They may not get great overnight, but just trying to do a little bit every single day, something positive, setting goals and objectives for yourself that you want to accomplish every single day, no matter how small or trivial those things are, just accomplishing just one of those things every day, even if you don't accomplish all of those things, that there should at least motivate you just a little bit to continue to try to accomplish more positive things for yourself. So yeah, those three things that I just mentioned right there were most certainly the three hardest prison habits for me to break after getting released. 
And I really want to hear what you have to say about these three things that I've mentioned and also any other prison habits that you might want to contribute to this. Please leave any thoughts you guys might have down in the comment section because I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Hey look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day.